So Ross, 2-1 victory here at the Concord Rangers. You must be delighted with that win. Some of your thoughts after that game. Yeah, delighted. It's um, a tough place to come. It, it was a, a battle from the first whistle. Um, there wasn't much football being played, um, but we knew that. We knew the pitch was uh, bobbly and a bit rough, so it's important that we change our game plan, which we did, and, 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 it, and it worked a treat. What was your kind of thoughts going into into the half-time break? We're 2-0 up. Uh, we were quite dominant in that in that first half. What what did you kind of say to the players at that point? Um, well, we could have been uh, three up. Joe had a nice chance that just went wide. Um, it was important that we stuck to the game plan because it had been working and two goals were showing it. So there was no um, hot heads in there. It was nice and calm and collected. And it was important that we all stuck together and we did the, the second job, which was the last 45 minutes. It was... Um, a, t a tough game. It was really sort of battling and scrapping. There was a few, um, I think Coyley might have a broken nose, but he played on, he was brilliant. A um, few war scars, but it is what it is. It's one of these games where you've got to come here, you've got to fight, you've got to earn the right. Um, and we did that today. I think when you you talk about this game, when you talk about like you know looking back, tough and battle are the two words that will will come up to describe it. And it was exactly that. Uh, we won't beat around the bush. Concord Rangers have done fantastically well. They've survived, uh, and they didn't come here is in that kind of in that mode where they've got nothing to play for, and they gave no. us a real battle. And that must be pleasing because on some you know we we did get the ball and knock it around a little bit, but then when we were brought into the battle, we showed that we could stand up to that challenge as well, right? Yeah, I mean, they actually tried to play first off. Um, so credit to them trying to do it the right way and um, trying to play on the surface. It is a tricky, bobbly surface. Um, I think the second half, they changed their game plan a little bit more. They put it on us, um, which we dealt with. Um, it's one of those ones where we just got to uh, pick ourselves up. We've got to go again because we've got another big game Monday. Um, it's important that we rest up and recover. We take all the positives from today and there's, there's lots of them um, and we try and digest it and, and we go again Monday. I remember speaking to you after the Hungerford game on Good Friday when we had a game on the Monday after that. It's even shorter a distance between the next game yeah. now, it's Saturday, Monday. Yeah. What's that like? Is it is it kind of, you know, we'd, obviously we'd rather have a bit more time to rest and recuperate, but now is a real good chance to kind of get a couple of results going into the playoffs, I suppose. So what, what's kind of the thoughts of the lads and yourself going into that one? Um, today we rotated the squad. Um, we knew we had two big games, so um, we had players who came in, came out, um, and the boys who stepped in did a brilliant job. And the boys who uh, weren't involved, I'm sure, will do a brilliant job going forward. Um, we, we have a squad, and, and that is why you use a squad for times like this. And uh, the boys uh, are not disappointed that they left out because they understand the circumstances. The boys who came in um, were brilliant um, from the first minute right up until the last minute. So the team are they're, they're enjoying it. We're um, got some good spirit going on but it's important we now turn our focus to Monday because that's another big challenge. Just going back on that thing I think that's absolutely right what you said we've got a fantastic squad not just a starting 11. How nice is that for you as a manager so wherever you look you know uh, George uh, was on the bench today and Kip stepped, stepped in really well vice versa all around the pitch you've got um, options to rotate there it must be fantastic being a manager of, of, of these boys. Yeah I mean there's, it's brilliant but it's also difficult because you've got to give some bad decisions sometimes and Sometimes players don't want to hear it, but we've got a good group here where people take it on the chin and they know that this is part of a team and if they don't want to be a part of a team, they wouldn't be here. So we've got some um, strong mentalities in the group and today it showed definitely. Going forward now, Sunday off, back in Monday, what will you be doing tomorrow? Um, not too sure. I haven't thought about it yet. Today was the focus, now I can think about it on the coach. So I hope the boys rest up, which they, they will. Um, and then we'll approach Monday like any other game. So now the uh, attention goes on to Monday straight away. We wish you the best of luck and thanks for your time after this win against Concord. Cheers, thank you.